Yeah, good evening. Um, sorry to bother you, eh? I'm coming from the neighboring village. I went to inspect my father's property. He's building something there and um, I didn't realize it was getting this late. It would be impossible for me to get back to the city now, so I'm looking for a hotel. They said there's one somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, it's just streets. Mm. So I've been driving, I've been checking it. I've not seen any. Would you be kind enough to come into the car and show me? Do I, do I look stupid to you? No, I, I didn't say you were stupid. <laughs> That's what you're indirectly saying, because there's only a stupid person that would just enter inside a stranger's car. Oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. You don't trust me. My name is Nelson Ejofo, Chief Nduke Ejofo's son. You might know my father. He's quite popular around here. It was his project I went to inspect. Um, sir, please, I really don't have time for all this. Just drive straight by your left. You get when you get to a T junction, take your left. Ask the people around there. Why they'll can't show you. you show me? I have to go sell my plantain. Okay, how about I buy the entire tray? Buy the entire tray. I'll pay double. Okay. Deal? Yeah. Okay. The plantain is on by now. <laughs> um, so I'll just put this at the back. Thank you so much for bringing me back home. I should be the one thanking you. I mean, you sacrificed to take me to the hotel, so... Well, mm. I got rewarded handsomely for it. Not exactly. I bought your plantain. But you refused to take the plantain. Where was I going to keep it? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, there you go. Okay. Um, you didn't tell me your name. My name means... Is it important? How is that fair now? You know mine, but I don't know yours. My name is Jessica. Jessica. Hmm. What? I'm too local to bear such a name. I didn't say that. Okay. Well, to be honest, I was expecting an Igbo name. But oh. it works, Jessica. Uh, my foster mother gave me that name. Your foster mother. Yes, um, thank you so much, Mr. Nelson Ejofo, if I'm correct. All right. I, I guess that's my cue to leave, right? Um, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's getting late and you really don't know your way around, so I think it's best you go. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Good night. All right. You can't even wait for me to leave. <laughs>
Hi, Jessica. You. So, what description do you need to do the rest of the church? Actually, the way to your heart. Huh? Okay, maybe that didn't come out right. Um, <clears throat> but I just wanted to see you. See me? Um, I know that this sounds unbelievable. I didn't ask you to sit. Okay. I'm sorry. It's unbelievable, but it's the truth. How do you want me to believe that? You came all the way to see me. Let's say this gentleman right here hasn't been able to get this pretty lady out of his mind. So that's why I came to see you. C can I at least sit now? Please? Fine. Believe it or not, I came all the way to see you. Why? I don't know. I, I just want to get to know you more. Why? I just feel like it. What do you say, Jessica? I don't have anything to say. Not when I want something badly. What do you want? Are you a ritualist? A ritualist? How? Why won't I ask you that? Huh? Ask yourself what a rich kid like you is looking for in a portrait rat like me. What do you want to use me for? Eh? Oh, your baba has asked you to bring a virgin and you scanned me and concluded that I'm a virgin. Is that it? Why would you even think such of me? Why wouldn't I think such of you? If I'm wrong, why are you stalking me? Why are you following me everywhere? Because I like you. You like who? Yes, I like you and I'm interested in you. Mm -hmm. I, and I'm really wondering, it's hard for me to wrap my head around the fact that a pretty girl like you is hawking on the streets of the village. I don't get it. Why? Some of us are not privileged like you. All fingers are not equal. Okay? Some of us don't even know our parents. Not to talk of having rich ones, okay? Um, Jessica. Uh, please, uh, uncle, leave me now. What is your problem? Ah.
I have actually been waiting here for a while now. I decided to come and I'll wait for you here. Wait. Is, is it that ladies are scarce in the city that you frequent my house? Take a look at you and look at me. Look at me. Are we in the same level? I'm not even qualified to be your friend. Why are you interested in What is there in me to be interested about? I'm just an orphan. I don't know what you want. Hey, hey, slow down. Have you actually taken time to think about it? That we meet him might be destined. I've never thought about it. Well, I have. And I think there's a huge possibility. Look, how do I say this now? I've been finding it so difficult to get you off my head. I've been having sleepless nights. I, I cannot get you out of my mind. And I think we're destined to meet. So I'm not letting you go for anything in this world. You're very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. Am I? You're going to leave me here? I'm going to eat you drink. You were... Hold on. Did you try opening my door? No, I tried to lean. When I was, I fell asleep at some point. I leaned on it. I'm sorry. Did I spoil the door? No, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize that you were this funny. <laughs> You're funny. Well, people do say that to me. <laughs> but I think sometimes life is not funny and we just forget to be funny. That's deep. So, do you want to let me in on some of the things that have made your life not so funny? I know it might be too much to ask, but I'm just curious. Well, my life is not the kind of life you know. Tell me about it. My mother died the same day I was born. Wow. I was left in the care of my grandmother. Who was still ill to take care of the baby. So she gave me to a woman in the city who wanted to adopt. I learned all this after my grandmother passed. I grew up with my foster mother. She sponsored me till I got admission into the university to study nursing. Then tragedy happened. Tragedy? What tragedy? I just moved into the school hostel. One night, I got a call that our house was on fire. Oh, goodness. With my first number that trapped in it. Oh. I lost her and I lost hope and everything I had. So, I was just in my first year. I couldn't continue. So I had to come back here. My grandmother's abandoned house to stay. Yeah. I, I'm so sorry for all that happened to you. It's fine. I mean, 
this is my reality and I'm taking it one step at a time. Would it be too forward if I said that I'm here for you? What does that even mean? I mean it in every sense of it. Jessica, without, without missing words, I I felt a strong connection from the first day I met you. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine if you don't feel the same way, but... You will not regret knowing me. You won't. What exactly do you want? I don't know. I'm not sure, but I just want to be there for you. I want to be in your life. So if you give me a chance, we will see how it goes. It's so delicious, so. Yes. The best I've had in a really long while. Mm. That's because you're used to foreign dishes. Mm. Yes. Whatever you say. Yeah. But I hope you still have more. Thank you. Because I definitely will need some more. Mm. I have more if you want. Very good. Sorry. It's part of, <laughs> it's part of the meal. I have good news for you. You do? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're going back to school. Nelson, I appreciate you, but going back to school is going to cost a lot. Are you kidding me right now? Of course I'm footing the bill. Do you want to sponsor my education? Not just that. I'm taking you with me to the city. You're joking, right? Why would I be joking with something like this? Hmm? Well, this meal is very delicious and I believe that's exactly what's speaking through you. Hmm? Don't get me excited for nothing, okay? <laughs> You're right. The food is really nice, but it has got nothing to do with what I'm saying right now. I'm dead serious. You're going back to school. I'm putting the bills. You're going to the city with me. So don't argue. And please do not decline my offer. Don't say no. Okay? Now, Sam, why are you doing this? I mean, we just met. We don't even know each other very well. Yeah, we don't know each other very well, but we can know each other better when we get to the city. We have all the time in the world to ourselves, right? Please, I want more. Okay, this one I'm not yet finished, right? <laughs> hmm. Are you serious? Dead serious. Console, uh, dining, um, and this is your bag. 
Hey. Dad. I thought you were in Abuja. Well, uh, my meeting was cancelled, so I decided to take the first flight down here today. Oh, oh. Yeah, I, I didn't know you, you, you were home. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good thing you're here. Oh, meet my friend. My new friend, Jessica. Good afternoon, Your friend, you say? Yes. Um... Um, what is a traveling bag all about? Actually, um, I intend for her to stay with us. She'll be staying with us. She'll be do what? She, she, she needs to be here for a while. That I, I was going to tell you, but I didn't. I didn't think because you're in Abuja. I, I didn't. I'm sorry. We'll have this discussion when I come back. Okay. You didn't tell your dad about me? I didn't have the chance to. I mean, we have not really been talking and he was not in town, so I actually didn't see the need to. So you two leave here? Yeah. Do you have a problem with it? No. But I think he has a problem with me being here. Of course not. I mean, he's an old man. With two people badging him on, on him. Of course he'll be quite uncomfortable. Nothing to worry about. Okay? No worry. Okay. I would show you your room. Come. Who is your father? Um, Dad. Let her speak. I don't know my dad. You don't know your father? That is to say, you are a daughter of nobody? Dad. What? She just says so. I've never met him. Where did you meet my son? Um, it, I oh, just when... asked a question. I met him in my village. And you decided to come to the city with him? He asked me to. And you couldn't decline? I brought her so that she could further her education. So, it means that she's here for the money, right? Excuse us. For a moment. That. What was that for? Listen. Is there anything wrong for me to know the identity of somebody? I mean, a stranger that you brought into my room. Are you saying you don't trust my sense of judgment? That I would deliberately bring someone unreasonable to our home? The last time I checked, we don't run a foundation for the less privileged in here. What if I decide to help? What if I choose to help? Am I not allowed to help people? So... You're telling me that uh, all you want to do is to help her and uh, nothing else? 
Yes. I want to help. I want to help her. At least for now. What do you mean by that? Good night, Dad. Wait, we mm -hmm. have lipstick lips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, smack it. Madam, mm. do this thing very well. Mm. I have a wedding in two hours. At two hours, don't worry, I'll soon be done now. Just give me like. Madam, you're wasting time. Wait, wait. <laughs> um, See my eye. Wait, your brother are probably shit, wait, wait. so it's not going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Give me a mirror, give me a mirror. Be wait. Oh God. Wait now, you're going to spoil the brows. Wait my phone. Let me be, let me be see what my client is doing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, give me. Better. There you go. Hey! <laughs> what the hell? More. <laughs> what the hell is this? Hey, wait. See. Mm -hmm. I've never even considered the bra um, brows. There you go. Are you sure you don't think this is not a profession? What what is what is what? That's bronzer. <laughs> I look like a comedian. Wait. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Come on, Um, actually, she just got um, new makeup products, so she was trying to test if it, if they are original. Original product, is it nice? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's you. <laughs> Baby, you want to finish? Let me finish my makeup. Go ahead. This man is going to kill you. This. Wait.
Jessica? Jessica? I'm sorry, that was my fault. Can I come in? I'm coming in. Acted like I did. Thing is, I didn't think we should involve you so much. Why? Did you see how your father looks at me? I don't care about that. I do care. Look. I have grown fond of you. Same with me. I am head over heels in love with you, Jessica. No, sir, I'm trying not to fall in love with you. Why not? That's simply me passing my boundaries. What boundaries? There are no boundaries in love. I love you. I really love you. And I want to be with you. So if you want me as much as I want you, that's all that matters. Nothing went wrong on their wedding day. Nothing. Mm -mm. Like, I feel like they're going to have a perfect wedding as well. Nothing will go wrong. Okay, I just knew that was what you wanted to say. <laughs> but I just feel it's normal if. Hmm? Yeah, anything can happen, but the show will still go on. Babe? Yeah. Yep. What's your genotype? My genotype. Mm hmm. Why? I'm just curious. I just realized I've never asked you. AA. -A. Your AA? -A. Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's You're like... Sure. <laughs> babe, stop. That's like one of the tests like you have to take for school registration. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go bring your stuff, we'll check. Why? Let's just check, it'll be fun. Go, go, go. Wait, go, go, okay, go. fine, let me fun. forget it. But, you see that you don't trust me? Like and what? Come on! Just get it. I said, bring all your medical stuff. Why? Then bring all your medical stuff. So I could play a game with it. You just how bought you, only the, the. How do you play a game with one's medical report? I don't know. We can create a game. We can create a game. We can create a game. Game, game creator. It's all uh, sense right now. Then I'm the SQ University. Wait, I'm not done. That's enough. Really. <laughs> I'm not done. Bring it. That's bring it. enough. You just wanted thing. to see the genotype. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's wait, wait, see wait, the wait. movie, babe. Right. That's okay. You just wait to see the genotype. You don't want me to read everything. What are you going to read? You don't want me to read everything. Just watch TV. Watch TV, God. 
I love you, baby. I love you too. Joking, right? Uh, Dad, I, I just thought it, it, it's an honorable thing to do, like letting you in, in on my relationship with her. Will you keep quiet? Keep quiet! Relationship with who? What nonsense are you spewing from your mouth? You're in a relationship with this? Dad, please calm down. Calm down, I... Are you not going to tell me who to be with? Of course not! You have the right to be with anybody. Have relationship with anybody. But certainly not this gold digger. Dad, please. Please, don't call my woman names. Please. Your woman? Oh. I can see that you'll be bewitched. Yes? Well, you can say anything you want, but this, she is my choice, and I would want you to respect that. If you wouldn't respect my choice, then I might as well just pack and leave this house for you. Hey, honey. Hey. Where are you now? It's um, 15 minutes to our wedding planning appointment. It's almost two. I'm so sorry. I had to go drop the ashwabi for the delivery company. Yes, but I'm on my way back now. Oh. Um, okay, okay. Hurry. I don't want us to be late, okay? I'll see you soon. All right. Love you too. The girl is anemic and that's why she collapsed. Oh. So she'll be needing a blood transfusion. Oh, I can donate for her. Are you related to this girl? No, I'm not. I just had to help her. I mean, she's just a young girl going about her daily activities. She actually reminds me of my past, so... Fine. But before you will be able to donate, we have to make sure you're eligible. So we have to take your blood samples for tests. Oh, okay. So it's, is that going to take time? Because I have to be somewhere with my fiancé. Ah, uh, well, we have available blood. So depending the time this result will surface, you can make payment for that. Oh, okay, yeah. That will be fine. Okay, let's talk in my office. All right. Well, I'll be back. Babe. I'm so sorry. What happened? There was an accident. An accident? Wait, you were in an accident? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was a victim. 
I had to help her to the hospital. Wow, Victor. In this country, babe. The innocent girl was dying. I'm sorry. But you know how these things can be. You can end up implicating yourself just by helping. Are you saying helping is now a crime? I haven't said that. Uh, I think we should help when we have to. I mean, it could be anyone tomorrow. I get it. I just want you to be careful. Of course, I'll be careful. Hmm? I miss you so much. I miss you too, baby. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. Come on. I took the whole day. I have to go fresh. Oh, we can't make you for this appointment anymore. No, that's not possible. Wow. Freshen up first. Are you sure you want to freshen up? You look good this way, then. Babe, I need to go freshen up this morning. Okay, I'll do it. Have you had something to eat? Uh, not yet. We want the necessary test and also did the genotype test. It's not like the genotype test is necessary for this purpose, but just in case you want to have an idea. Well, I already know what my genotype is. So, but like you said, it's what you had to do. Okay. Here you go. What is this? My genotype. <laughs> Unfortunately, you cannot donate because your blood is O positive and it's not compatible with the patient's blood because her blood is O negative. However, we can get a donor who can give our blood. Yes? Yes. I thought you said you knew about your genotype. Exactly, and I'm not a yes. Miss Jessica, the result of your genotype test is AS. Then something is obviously wrong with the result. No, this result is accurate, 100%. Then something is wrong with the hospital. Calm down. Being an AS is not deadly. It is deadly. I'm getting married in a month. This is not possible. It's not. There's something wrong with your hospital. I I can't be AS. Okay. I would advise you to go run the test in another lab. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And when I get back, I'm getting a refund. <laughs> Babe! I'm going to be late though. I don't know what's taking you too long. Okay. Ready? Um. Um. Is there a problem? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I, I can't go with you to see the home. You can't go with me. Why? I need to be somewhere urgent. I mean, you just you just called out to me. I know. Somewhere? It, where? It, How? What do you mean? It's very important. I just have to. More important than seeing our home. Huh? Um, okay. When I come back, we'll talk about it. Hmm? Jessica. Is, is there something you're not telling me? Is there a problem? Because it seems to me like there is. There is no problem. I'm fine. Like I said, we'll talk about this when I come back, okay? Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I'll take you there. No, 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 babe, you don't have to. I'll just have my car keys. I'll just try. Okay? All right. See you.
It's all right. I'll see you there. Oh, yes. I'm prepared. All right. Ready? You're back from your trip already. Welcome. Chief Age of War, not Daddy. Um, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm getting married to your son soon, so I really don't think it's out of place if I call you Daddy. I am not your daddy. For seven years, I thought my son was helping the less privileged. I thought he was providing shelter for the homeless, feeding the poor and hungry. I thought he was educating one that could not afford one. Here we are. Planning a wedding. Chief. I am not done. You know what? I hate good diggers. I thought so too. No, no. No, 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 no. Nelson, he's AS, right? Oh. Oh. Hey. No, no, no. Both of you can be AS and plan on getting married next month. I have to marry Nelson. We're getting married, so what are you saying? Is he aware? No. You have to tell him. This, this is going to break him. This thing is going to break us. Jesse, see, I feel your pain. But this is a genotype we're talking about here. The life of your unborn kids is at risk here. Okay, okay. Why don't you call Nelson? You two will sit down and talk about this thing. I can't. 
I can't talk to him about this. What am I supposed to say? Uh -huh. See. Okay. What happens if I tell him? See, the question here is, babe, the thing is, what will happen if you don't tell him? And you to go ahead, get married, and you give birth to kids that will face the consequences. JC, see, I know you two love each other very much. Because Nelson has been there for you all this while. But the thing is, are you willing to sacrifice the health of your children, your unborn kids, all in the name of love? Because if you ask me, I think God has a reason for you finding out like this. So you don't do something you will live to regret. Please don't take this step. Please, JC. Oh, I'm supposed to do it. Hey. <laughs> I don't know now. How can I? How can I not marry them? Saying? You have to tell me. God, this is crazy. I don't know what to do. How can you be ears? Last ball now. Whoa. Hey, babe. How are you? Okay, someone is finally ready to talk. Are you okay? Your suspicion is valid. There is a problem. A big one. A, a problem? What? What problem? Who's the best result? It's mine. Babe, this is a joke, right? Eh? Stop it. A joke? <laughs> What's this? What kind of prank is this? I did this test into different hospitals. And the results came out the same way. I am ears. You are... A... A... S. Babe... You need to stop now. I'm, I'm no longer finding this funny. Babe, this is not funny. I'm hurting. I feel like my world, I feel like my whole world is crashing. I don't even know what to do. I had some encouragement. Do you know what this is? Do you know the implication of what you're spewing to me right now? Do you know what this could do to our forthcoming wedding? Do you? Jessica, what is this? I mean, I, I inquired from you severally. I asked you and you... You said you were AA. You confirmed to me with your results. Babe, I don't know what is happening. I have no idea what this whole thing... I've always been AA. I don't know where this is coming from. If, if this is a ploy to cancel the wedding, what? it would not work. You need to find something else because I'm not buying this. I'm not!
Hey, why would you think I would come of this wedding? I don't know what it is. Why would I do that? I don't know. Maybe you don't love me anymore. Maybe you have fallen out of love with me. Maybe you never even loved me. Maybe you're just with me because you want to show gratitude. You want to compensate me. I don't know. You tell me. You're sweet. You are unbelievable. You are unbelievable. Jessica, I have loved you. I've been there for you. I have sacrificed my time. I've sacrificed for this relationship. I've sacrificed for you. I've fought everybody. I've fought my own father for you. Do you even realize that I also just found out that I'm AS? All the time, I've always known to myself to be AS. I didn't know where this whole thing's coming from. All our dreams, our plans, our love, our union, all the things we, we said to ourselves, our set of twins, <laughs> and the business we're going to put together, the fly the world together. Look what's, what's going to happen. <laughs> what? Where am I supposed to start from? What? How? situation for being sorry. What is going to happen to us? Don't tell me that this is all. Don't tell me that this is the end of the world for us. This is it. Is that what you're telling me? Is, it, is that what you're telling me? We can work it out? Is that, is that what you're saying? What you're saying? Stuck in the dark with no sign of the light coming. I'm in confusion. Can't explain what's going on. Caught in the middle. It's, it's a test result. I just, I just found that um, I'm not AA like I thought. You just found out or you just decided to open up? I really just found out. I told you, I hate gold diggers. So, you deceived my son. I never deceived Nelson. The only time I had a genotype text was 
when I just got admitted head into the university and the result said I was AA. What is it? Well, you have good it. No. Are you saying that your genotype changed your mind? This is the research that was given to me at the school health center eight years ago. The VC of that school is my friend. I will make my findings. test result of my supposed daughter-in-law to be is from your school's clinic that was eight years ago she just found out that this result is fake <laughs> my friend did your fall you know I was in VC eight years ago but be that as it may I know how a lab test result from my school clinic looks like. This one does not look like it. So, what are you trying to insinuate? <sighs> what I'm trying to say is that this result is forged. But for what purpose, I don't know. I knew it. This daughter of nobody. I hope there is no problem. Okay, I can notice there is, but I hope it's not a big one. Thank you. Ijofo, highest preparations for your son's wedding. Everywhere is agog. The country's looking forward to it. There will be no wedding. Why? Caught in the middle, a middle of nowhere. Stuck in the dark, with no sign of the light coming. I'm in confusion, can't explain what's going on. Caught in the middle. So 
Wake up, please, wake up! Hey! Somebody help! Hey! Some, somebody help! Somebody help! Somebody help! Lord, please! She wants to die! Somebody help!
Look at me. Look at me! I never liked you. The first time I set my eyes on you. I knew you were pure evil. And now, you've caused me an irrecoverable loss. My son is dead! I told you. I told you that I hate gold diggers! Terminate this pest. Jesus. The doctor said you should take your medications and rest. Okay, you will be fine. By the way, why did you decide to take your life? Suicide is a coward exit. And uh, it might interest you to know that if one commits suicide, it takes less than seven days for him or her to come back and face the same condition that warranted a suicide. So, suicide is not an option in many situations. Okay? 
Jessica. Yes. Where is... Where is she? I mean, I didn't see her in the hospital. And she doesn't seem to be in this house. It's strange. Let's not forget about this girl. She, she nearly killed you. Where is she? Where? I wish I did. Hey, how are you feeling now? One good turn deserves another, they say. The very first time I met you, you were a good Samaritan. And this time around, a good Samaritan brought you here. And I'm glad you are strong and alive. The bullet did not affect any of your vital organs. And we have successfully removed the first bullet. And the second one is not in a good place. So we trust and hope it readjusts so we can operate. I want to assure you that you are safe here. And I will personally make sure that you are fine. I'm just curious. Do you know anyone who would reasonably or unreasonably want to hurt you? Dad, you are not stepping out of this house until you answer my question. If I may remind you, young man, this is my house. Still doesn't answer my question. Where is she? And look, Nelson, you are becoming a nuisance. I haven't even started that. I have not started. Where's Jessica? I have told you to forget about her. Forgetting about her is my decision to make. Before I make that decision, I want to know her whereabouts. Where is she? I don't know. That I know you. I 
know you too well. And I know what you're capable of. I just hope you haven't done anything silly. How silly you say? If there is anyone in this house that has done something silly, it's certainly you. In the first place, you brought a total stranger to my house. For good seven years, she played you. What did you do? You attempted to commit suicide. Is that not silly? I hope I met you well. Oh yes, BC, but uh, I must say that I'm surprised that you are in my home this time. Yes, I just have something that I need to share with you urgently. Well, in that case, uh, have your seat. Let's talk. No, I don't need to sit. I will just say my piece and leave. I have a meeting to attend to. It is about the genotype result you brought to my office the other day. What about it? Actually, we've had similar cases in the last few days. So we decided to make an investigation and we found out that uh, the fault was from our former lab technician. What? What are you talking about, BC? Look, let me tell you. The lab technician duped students. He never performed those necessary tests. He forged those results just to get their money to put in his pocket. Are you saying that the results were forged but not by students? Yes, he did the evil work. And as we speak, is behind bars. If you will excuse me, I will need to take my leave. Dad, where is she? Hey, this again. So, how are you feeling today? I have good news. The second bullet has repositioned, so you can now operate. Doctor, I don't know how we're going to go about this surgery because I don't have any money to pay for it. I just want you to get well, to leave all that for now. How can you not know the whereabouts of your best friend? She is your fiancé. And you two live together. I expect you to know. Well, sadly, I don't. I don't know. I've not heard from her. I've not seen... Oh, I don't know. I, I just hope she's safe. I hope so, too. Because it's been long I heard from her. Like I told you, we were on the phone. Then, all of a sudden, I heard her dragging with someone. You know, her voice got fainter. Till I could no longer hear her again. And you couldn't in any way make out the voice of who she was talking to? No. Really? What do we do?
You're welcome to my humble abode. You have a nice place. Thank you. I really don't know how to say thank you, but I'm grateful for everything you did for me. Thank you. This must be the hundredth time you're saying thank you today. I could thank you forever. Yes, um, I'm grateful. Thank it's all you. right. It's fine. This is your house as well. You can stay here as long as you want. Dr. Sam, you don't even know me and you want me to stay in your house? <sighs> well, this is a clear case of assassination attempt. I want to keep you safe. That's why I brought you here. And it also gave me an ample opportunity to examine your recovery. Okay? So let's... Yeah! That reminds me. You studied nursing, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. I think I have a spot for you in my hospital. You want to give me a job? Yes. With a fat pay. That's so kind of you. Thank you so much. Don't tell the nurses. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. I'm very grateful. It's fine. Thank you. It's fine. Okay. So here. To your room. Oh, okay. Thank uh, you. Easy. Think you're going. Nelson! We are still trying to figure out what to do about it. Those eyes are completely damaged. We do not know what the assailants used on them. Everything is going to be all right. I promise you. I'll make sure we take good care of him. I'm going to assign a nurse to watch over him. Okay? I want you to focus on him. Take care of him and always be by his side. Okay? I already spoke to his son Nelson, who is not in the country. I assured him you are going to take care of his father. So please. Do your best. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I'll be
Nelson didn't die. His father lied just to get rid of me. That devil. That monster. Finally. Yes. Yeah, What's with the whole ceremony? We're mm here. -hmm. Okay. Then we go, ma'am. I'm touch. I'm touch. Okay. Not yet. I just. Okay. You can have a spoon. Just a spoon. And. Tana. Mm. <laughs> This looks delicious, and I hope it's going to taste as good as it looks. Mm, I don't want to brag, but... Ah, ah, sorry. Okay. I don't want to brag, but I'm really a good cook. You're a good cook? Yes. Okay, let's see. Okay. Of one to ten. Uh -huh. I'll give you a seven. Seven? Yeah. Seven. It tastes nice. Seven. Mm -hmm. Don't play with me. Why are you giving me seven now? Seven. Yep. Seven. Ha. Yeah, this is good. Wait, are you insinuating that you are a better cook? Of course I'm a better cook. You? Mm hmm. What? Why don't we throw in a competition? Hold on. You want to challenge me? I am challenging you. Bring it on. Let's bring it on. Uh huh. Someone's salary is a stick. Let's do it. Who's going to work with him? So, what I'll do this tonight. Rice, soup, whatever you want. Whatever, whatever you want. Okay. Whatever you want. But first, let me eat this. Yeah, Savoy. Mm -hmm. What's your own? Yeah, I'm done now. Mm. I'm angry. I just want to watch you. I understand. I understand. Come You're on. like part of the people that eat in the kitchen. Yeah, mm. I understand. Yeah, it's okay. Everybody there. Sir, you're weak? Yes. Is my condition critical? Am I going to die? The Almighty Chief Ijofo is scared to die. But it was so easy for you to want to take another person's life. What a life. My name is Jessica and I'm your nurse. Jessica? Yes. You have a problem with my name? No, no. It's just that. The name of the voice sound familiar. Well, no one has a monopoly of names. Get well soon, sir. Yep. Yeah. 
Great. Okay. So before we go out, I have something for you. Okay. What's that? What's this? <laughs> What's this now? Well, uh, you bought me a necklace. It's a gift. Oh, thank you so much. Like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Yep, I do like it. I'm trying to finish up my makeup. I'm almost done. I don't want to put pressure on you, you know. I just want you to take your time and fall in love with this good looking and charming doctor. <laughs> You're so full of yourself, you're full of I'm a full <laughs> spec now, check me out now, come on now, forget to. Uh -huh. I mean, like... Yeah, of course you're good looking. Uh -huh. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think I am forgot my watch. Damn, I forgot my watch. Let, me, right. let, let me get it. Uh, so, before you come out, we're done. Okay. Dad, what are you talking about? I really need to see Jessica. I did her to forgive me. He needs to take his medication and get some rest. Uh, okay, buddy, if I may ask, how long have you been a nurse? Quite some time. Is there a problem? She's meant to be my world. Well, I feel it's part of life. You know, sometimes life can be unfair to us and there is no one to question. We just move on. She meant the world to me. It's not that easy. All right, Dad, thank you. Call them to get your food before you can take your drugs. Thank you. What happened? 
Did something happen to the patient you are in charge of? It's fine. Take your time and talk to me when you can. Mom, come. Tell me, give me an address. Hey, give me the address. I'm waiting for you now, please. Hey. That man can go scot free. You can't let him go scot free after what he did to you. So what would you have me do? He's in your care. He's in your hospital. There are million and one things you can do to him without it being traced back to you. And you think I haven't thought of that? Then why haven't you done it? Ella, that's not who I am. I'm not a murderer. And I will not allow Chief Ejo for turn me into one. A man who, 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 who killed you, in fact, because of a son that is alive, deserves to die. Have you been? Mm. Mm. I've missed you. This is your hair. You still have it. See me. It's cute. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Caught in the middle, a middle of nowhere. Stalked in the dark With no sign of the light coming I'm in confusion Can't explain what's going on Caught in the middle It's fine, then. I actually want to see the doctor, but I can help you back. Okay. Well Yeah. 
How you feeling now, sir? Um, what's the pain level like? Can you rotate skin up from the time? A person who admits to be a terrible person must truly really be a terrible person. You're very correct. I have done something so terrible that I can't stop regretting. Is it something you want to talk about? Um, doctor. I know that this might be a bit unprofessional, but I've been looking for Nurse Jessica. I've, I've combed the entire hospital and someone said she stepped out. I, I want to see her badly, but I was hoping to get a bit more information about her. What about her? She feels like somebody I know. I can't explain it, but... Someone you know? Yes, yeah, someone really special. How special? We were actually supposed to get married. Matter of fact, this period was supposed to be our honeymoon. But just a month to our wedding, we realized that our genotypes aren't compatible. Oh, really? Yes. Then what happened? I don't even have full knowledge of how it happened. Apparently, she had tested previously and they gave her a wrong result. Or Bottom line, she's AS and I'm AS and we couldn't get married. I was devastated because I've built my world around her. She means the world to me. I felt I couldn't, I couldn't take it anymore. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. So I tried to take my own life. I attempted suicide. <sighs> Good thing uh, I was rushed to the hospital right on time before the poison ate deep. And after I was okay, I came back to the house Jessica was nowhere to be found. And my father, for some awkward reason, didn't have any, any idea whatsoever where she was. She just disappeared into thin air. I, I, I searched for her. I looked for her everywhere. <sighs> Till I traveled. I traveled to clear my head. But I'm talking to the nurse now that is taking care of my father. She sounds so much alike. Exactly 
like my Jessica, same name, same profession. What sort of coincidence would that be? Oh my goodness. Is there a problem? I thought my son was dead. So... You arranged people to kidnap his fiancée and shot her. How did you know that? I am Jessica. Jessica. I had opportunities to kill you. But you know, I believe God did not save me so I can kill you. Rather than being vengeful, I chose to be grateful. I'm also grateful to Dr. Sam here for saving my life. He paid for the surgery. I'm grateful for your life. That you are alive to see this day. Jessica, my daughter. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I I thought my son was dead. I was in great agony. I was furious. Please forgive me. I beg you. I wish you a good life, sir. Jessica. Jessica. I know that I shouldn't be standing here talking to you. I mean, not after all. All the trauma that we have caused you. All the anguish, all the pain. I can only imagine all that you went through. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. And maybe if I didn't attempt suicide. All this wouldn't have happened. Thanks, I'm, I'm sorry. Now, so why would you want to take your life? Did you think of the pain that would cause your father and I? I was devastated. I was broken. I, I wasn't even thinking. Yes, it was selfish of me. I just wanted to end it all and just disappear. But I didn't know better. I, I was just being selfish. I didn't think about you. I didn't think of the people that loved me. Please, find it in your heart to forgive me. Please. I'm sorry. You're a good man. You are a great support to me. You sponsored and took care of a girl. You barely knew. It's rare. It's rare to find people with your kind of heart.
I am grateful to you. And I'll always be grateful. But we both know this marriage cannot work. We can't. Nelson. We can. We can make it work. I hope and I pray that you find a woman that will love you the way you love me. Please. Please. It is a shame to call you my father. It is the most embarrassing thing ever to have a father like you, a murderer, a murderer. A mother will not be my father. I'm no longer going to be the son to Chief Ejiofo. I'm done. I wish you a safe recovery. If by adventure you leave this place, I don't want to ever set my eyes on you. No, it's No. Do have a good life. No. That's it. Caught in the middle, amid the love nowhere. Stuck in the dark, with no sign of the light coming. I'm in confusion. Plan was going on, caught in the middle, middle of a Caught in the middle, middle of nowhere. Stuck in the dark, with no sign of the light coming. I'm in confusion.
I know a lot has happened to you in a short while. And it will be difficult for you to open up. I am ready and willing to take my time with you. I am going to be the greatest coward ever lived. If I cannot summon the courage to tell you how I feel about you. Jessica, I love you. And I want you to be my girlfriend. in the middle a middle of nowhere stuck in the dark with no sign of the light coming I'm in confusion can't explain what's going on caught in the middle middle of nowhere Caught in the middle, middle of nowhere Stuck in the dark, with no sign of the light coming I'm in confusion, can't explain what's going on Caught in the middle, middle of nowhere if this is a dream, I could have woken up But this is reality, a very painful one If this is a movie, I could have shut it down This is reality 